This is End Screen Noise. My name is Colin Dixon, founder and chief analyst at End Screen Media, and today is July 3rd, 2014. Netflix continues to fascinate the, uh, the markets with lots of news in the last couple of weeks about the company. First up, if you are a subscriber, a stock owner rather, to Netflix, you should be pretty happy with the performance. The stock hit an all-time high this week on Wednesday of $474. That's up from $221 this time last year. So pretty darn good performance and stockholders should be happy. And by the way, I am not a stockholder in Netflix. Now what is driving this growth is precisely that. It's growth and the prospect of growth. The company continues to turn in very good growth numbers. And remember, the company has also just launched in or will just launch in six, six new European markets, Germany, France, Belgium, Austria, Switzerland and Belgium. So uh, they will provide help provide more growth for the company and what am I expecting now we've just finished Q2 for growth? Well, Q2 I think will be a modest growth in the US. About 400,000 subs will be added here, taking to the company to about 36 million. But internationally should be much stronger. I'm expecting at least a million or more subscribers to grow to about 13.8 million subscribers. And that gives a grand total of a hair under 50 million in total. So uh, that's one of the reasons why I think Netflix stock continues to do well. It's that prospect for growth. As long as the company can deliver it, I think you'll see the stock continue to perform very well. And talking of expansion, rumors this week that the company is planning on moving into Australia. Yes, all the Antipodeans are getting very excited about the idea of getting Netflix. But I don't think it's going to happen anytime soon. The rumor seems to have come from conversations with a company called Village Roadshow, which is a film and production company in Australia. Uh, and uh, there were just discussions, not no contracts signed. And the Australian Financial Times says that no deals have been finalized yet with Netflix. And they aren't anticipating anything before the second half of 2015. And I think they're probably right. Uh, you'll remember at the end of Q1, during the earnings call, David Wells, who's the CFO of the company, said, and I quote, before we launch another substantial expansion, that we're pretty confident in our existing performance in markets we have today. And uh, moving into those six European markets in the second half of this year is sure to occupy a lot of the energy of Netflix, at least in the expansion. So no expansions, other expansions, I would expect before 2015 at the earliest. The company continues to fine tune the content mix here in the US. If you are Rocky or Resident Evil fan, I'm afraid you've missed your chance. Those movies have exited the service. And coming into the service, well, if you love the Karate Kid, all three Karate Kid movies are coming as well as a bunch of Star Trek movies and even a Stoner movie from, uh, goodness me, from the 70s, Cheech and Chong's Up in Smoke uh, will be available on Netflix. And original content also gets a boost. Hemlock Grove Season 2 should be released in July. Now, this is a series that was panned by the critics in its first release. But apparently, Netflix, looking at the performance of the series, was confident enough in its performance to order up a second series, which will be arriving this month. Now, if you want a lot more information about to Netflix, and particularly after the earnings call, which is scheduled for July 21st, that's the Q2 earnings call, you should come to my site and go to the trackers area, and in there you'll find the Netflix page, which will have the very latest data on Netflix performance and opinion on where it's headed. You will see me again next time.